Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris from Project Mobile here. Google recently released its own suite of local applications for Google Docs, finally. Uh, if anyone who's used it before knows that there is a mobile site that you were able to go to, it was really just sort of a poor editing experience. I would not have used it for anything more than, hey, I forgot a word somewhere, let me do that. But they, they, they released a local app, and I gotta say, it's really not much better. It is still very much a local wrapper around the online mobile web app. And I'm actually not gonna go into that at all for this video. I really wanna show you something very cool and a very unique feature of Google Docs. Now, there are applications that I have seen that can do this. However, to have the integration with Google Docs really is what makes this killer. Google Docs can take a picture of something. For example, the inside of this book I have right here, take the text and will do its best in sort of a Google voicey kind of way and transcribe that into a digital format so that way you can edit and keep that text for later. Sure, you could still type things down when you see it or take a picture, but the, the ability to edit it in the end and sync it with Google Docs is really why you'd want to use that. So I'm going to show you how it works, and I already have a couple examples I, I can show you here. So let's document from photo. So this is how you would do, create a new spreadsheet document. We want to do document from photo, and it's going to give me my camera options. I'm just going to pick the stock camera. So I have a little book here, and I'm going to take a picture of, I'm really trying my best to get that middle paragraph. Okay, and let's just take a picture of it. Done, hit okay. Now it's gonna ask what account I want you to uh, upload to, convert it to a Google Docs document. I, I wanna say yes, you can of course rename it here. We're just gonna hit okay. Now you'll see up in your notification tray, it'll say uploading, and you give it a second, you're gonna get another notification that's gonna say upload complete, there we go. So we want to check this out. So I'm going to go see this and see how it turned out. So there it is right there. That's just what we did. Whoops. We're going to click that. Now here's the cool thing. Let's say you import something, but you kind of forgot what you took a picture of. Well, it gives you the actual image right here. This is, this is the image of, well, there's my nice finger. It's probably not going to translate that very well. But I'm really concerned about the center one. So this is the original picture it's looking at and saying, this is what I'm translating. Now, I'm not sure if you could really see this very well on camera. But the picture it actually used to translate got quite a bit uh, compressed, or it, the quality is not nearly as good as the original picture I did, which, which makes sense, but, it, but may also explain some of the issues you're gonna see with this. So let's look at this middle paragraph. That's really all the one I really made my best to do. So you can see L's it really thinks is that kind of crazy symbol you usually see and not really use, but you kind of get the point, it's Google. For the most part though, it looks really good. This is probably one of the better ones that I've ever seen, actually. It's getting parentheses correct. It has a lot of punctuation. This is actually very readable, and especially if you're on the go and you just want something that can take a, a quick picture just to snap it and edit it later, this is, this is really fantastic. Now, of course, in the bottom here, you'll remember my finger kind of got in the way, so it, it's probably not doing such a good job of it. But this is very readable, and I'll just give you a second here to look it over, or you could just pause the video. That, that works really well. Now, I even tested it on an iPad screen because, of course, when you're taking pictures of just regular text like this, it, it should work ideally the best because this is just natural light bouncing off of it. So why don't we test this then on the iPad? Because if it's gonna be able to do this on a book really well, I would hope it would be able to do it on an LCD screen. But I'll give it sort of a pass on the LCD screen just because it's gonna be a little harder to read. You have glare issues, especially on the iPad. So here, give me one second here, get my iPad out. So I have the site up here. So this is just a recent post I did. Why don't we focus and try to get this text right here. That's gonna be my goal with this. So to do this, remember we're gonna go up here, document from photo, use the camera. I'm gonna do this long ways for this. So let's see if I can get that really well. So you can see there's, I have some glare here just from the lights. Let's take that snap it all right so let's see how how this actually handles something off an iPad now I mean granted these are not ideal conditions if you're gonna take any photos of anything with a screen like an iPad you probably want to be in a dark room with no lights on just because of all the glare but let's let's see how it works put this aside for a second now we're waiting for that notification up top upload complete let's go to it there's the one we just did. So let's see how this actually turned out. So this is the picture once again, and you can see here just the quality, and I hope you can really get a chance. It's, it's very, very compressed. It's just not, the picture, I, I see, I don't know if, 
this is the final product that what Google servers are looking at, or if this is just for the sake of Google Doc storage, this is just a general idea. I'd be curious to know, and I kind of want to find that out, because if this is actually what Google servers are looking at, it's very understandable why there could be mistakes in the translations. So here, this is what it got out of it. And it's pretty good. This is, remember, this is off an LCD screen. This isn't off like a nice magazine or a book or something. Now, it, it sort of falls apart a little bit as you get towards the bottom, but again, I'm not really concerned about that. You can see my face in the picture here. You see some glare from one of the lamps I have on. This is what I was concerned about, and it does a really, really good job. So for fast pictures, just to create a document out of it, this is really good. But like I said before, Google Docs in general for the editing need some work. But th this feature alone is, is definitely the reason why I still have this phone. I'm sorry, this application on my phone. I'll probably never get rid of this little guy.